Welcome to this series of podcasts about the northwest section of the Shropshire Way. This delightful walking route will take you through some of the loveliest landscapes of the Shropshire border. Five audio podcasts accompany you on your journey. Each one lasts for four or five minutes and introduces you to some of the stories and people of the area. The podcasts are Trevonan, Salatin Hill, Bronny Garth, Frankton Lock and Old Oswestry Hillfort. They are crammed with fascinating info about the area and can be listened to whilst on the walk, or if you prefer, in the comfort of your favourite chair. Oswestry is at the heart of the walks. This market town has served the scattered communities and farms on both sides of the border for hundreds of years. In medieval times, its castle walls were first a stamp of Norman authority and later a place of refuge during the many wars between the Welsh princes and English kings. It prospered during the Industrial Age, selling its wool, coal and mineral wealth along the canals and railways. The town has a unique border feel. You're as likely to hear Welsh spoken as English, especially on market day. So take time to visit as the perfect reward for a day's walking. The first stop is Trevonan. Standing on the line of Office Dyke, this landscape was once turned upside down in the quest for black gold. From the very early beginnings, local people must have known there was coal almost at the surface. Long came the Industrial Revolution. Rush for coal really began in the 1750s. The whole area was developed over about a hundred years. Now the skilled labours of the Offers Dyke Brewery turn out barrel after barrel of golden beer. In the Barley Mow, uh, which we hope you'll go and have a drink in, there is the Offers Dyke Brewery, which is right next door to it, and that sits right on, on actually on the line of Offers Dyke itself. The head brewer is extremely enthusiastic and if you catch him on a good day or perhaps on a, a quiet moment it's quite possible he will show you round his microbrewery. But it does produce some fantastic beers which are on sale obviously in the pub itself and they sell their beers around locally. For more, download the Trevonan podcast. Now over to Salatin, where the only shelter for miles on this exposed hilltop is Mr. Crewe's Folly. Hide out here to hear about the tower and its footings in a far more ancient landscape. It was built as a folly in the 18th century by a man called Mr. Crewe who used to bring his friends up here and watch the stars and get drunk and carouse all night. But it's got more history than that. Would you believe this was used by the Home Guard in the Second World War as a watchtower to watch the German planes coming over and report on them? For more, download the Salatin Hill podcast. At Bronnygarth, the lanes still ring with the sound of miners' boots on their way to the pits at Chirk and Gobowing. But it's not coal that was famously unearthed here. Uh, he, was, he was a heck of a good gardener, Dad was. He was a good amateur gardener. And uh, he was digging in the garden and he found these heads. I can see them today. He stuck them on the, you know, the pigsty, where the pigs lace, and then they got to run out. He stuck them on the wall there, two heads. For more, download the Bronny Garth podcast. Next, Frankton Lock, which was once a busy crossroads. Before the railways, the canals heaved with heavy goods, its barges drawn away to the factories of the West Midlands by sturdy horses. But behind the scenes, lengthsmen worked tirelessly, to keep the vital waterways open with only the simplest of tools. Every day was walk the length, right? Make sure that there was no leakages and everything was not. Then that was daily, daily then. Then if there was a, a leak in any other section of the canal between Ellesmere and Langothran, that needed more than one man to get the four of them and you'd go and do work on that. And that's how we used to be. Here one day and here another day. For more, download the Frankton Lock podcast. We end at the magnificent Old Oswestry Hill Fort, where we uncover its fascinating past. As you go up the main entrance to the fort, to the top of the fort, 
you are going up what effectively is a tunnel. It would be very, very dangerous to go up to the main gateway at the top if you were not welcome there. How many soldiers at the Somme and Passchendaele learn trench warfare on this quiet hill, surrounded by the remains of more ancient defences? There are actually the remains of practice trenches from the First World War there. They trained them on a laid out site and then when they were in battle conditions and mud and ghastly stuff, they would know exactly where they were. For more, download the Oswestry Hillfort podcast. For all these podcasts and more, go to www.shropshirewalking.co dot uk forward slash Shropshire hyphen way.